And yeah, my finger is okay now, so let's go across the bridge. So, um, uh, because in previous video, walk and talk, I was uh, going through the transport options. As you can see, Lisa once again wanted to go here into Draule area. So we are going to Draule. Um, yeah. Uh, I was thinking about talking about, you know, taxis. Some experiences, some one, you know, my recollections. And also, you know, what are, what is the, let's say, state of taxis here in Slovenia. So, I believe, let's say, in all my life, I haven't used taxis more than 50 times. I, I believe the figure could be even lower, perhaps 30. So yeah, sometimes, you know, you are in such condition or in need when, you know, regular transport, e.g. usually in my case bus or or you know like um, car or small dog or bicycle isn't you know the most appropriate means Kangriva. Do you talk here? Lizia, we don't give a mid-war, I stuck it pretty grave a mid-war took it. Not pretty. Took it, took it grave. No, no, don't say grave more time. No grave more. Eh, she wants, she wants again, wants to go to the mechanics. Um, but yeah, um, you know, um, usually I would take a taxi um let's say last couple of times yeah basically um i had uh you know um yeah i think the last three times was all related to the faculty or university so um when uh, there was you know my phd promotion i didn't want to go on the bus, you know, with all my um, suit on, you know, the best suit on and so forth. E.g. I don't like wearing suits. And it was a little bit raining there, that, so I said, okay, I will take a, a taxi to the seat of the university. And one time before it was when I had, you know, my PhD defense, and before when I got um, university award so yeah basically and basically in such occasions but one occasion that sticks in my mind is um, when I was still faculty of theology I think it was I don't know the second year when I was uh, president of student council and police called me can you come to the police station regarding your application um, so as a you know student council, council president I was responsible um, for documentation and for one of um, our 
event that we organized or co-organized I had to put in application for approval for a public event and so basically a cop that was a police officer that was in charge of the application called me if I can come to the station to uh, fix something so you know he and he and he told me you know if you can come in the next 30 minutes I can you know sort all of this uh, bureaucracy today but if you cannot you know you will wait so I took you know called the taxi and we went to the police station and I believe this is so far the most let's say awful experience in the taxi first the car was old so here usually um, taxi services or taxi drivers are independent contractors um, in and they basically just uh, and the taxi companies are basically just you know dispatch centers that you know then for piece of the profit provision are providing these taxi drivers the calls the customers so you know it's nothing wrong with an old car if and when it's a well maintained and be clean so yeah, and in this case those both two requirements were not fulfilled you know and this was in basically in the beginning of the summer so it hot it was hot there was no air condition unit in the car which I you know I'm used to but you know the guy smelled very badly like he hasn't showered for a couple of days he wasn't wearing any socks he wasn't wearing any shoes he was actually driving bare feet while driving you know he was let's say taking care of some personal hygiene <sighs> you know cleaning his fingernails and so forth so uh, yeah fortunately for me it was you know like 10-15 minutes of a drive from the city center to the outskirts so yeah um in one let's say another interesting drive that i had you know usually when you call you know taxi it's you know just for you or of course if there is a group of you for that you know three four persons and in smaller towns in some smaller towns here in slovenia when they when there is no you know public transportation e.g buses and tax taxis are basically the main public transportation mode it's quite customary but let's say when you come uh, when you, you know, call a taxi they will wait there until basically the taxi will be filled you know three four passengers and then you go so this happened to me in several times in Trbolje so it's small uh, smaller town here in Slovenia primarily no, known for mining read na lizi kuja se boji napet kuja se boji Nadej, lepo, pridna. No, povohamo in to je to. Eko, no, pridi. Gremo. Ok.
we have smelled the dog and there is another ambulance so let's wait for it